given that 1 plus 12x plus 70x squared is the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x of 1 plus bx to the power of n, where n is a natural number, meaning positive integer, and b is a constant, show that nb is equal to 12. Okay, so let's first do the binomial expansion of 1 plus bx to the power of n. The first three terms of that expansion will be equal to this. So this is then n choose 0 times 1 to the n times bx to the 0 plus n choose 1, 1 to the n minus 1, bx to the 1 plus n choose 2, 1 to the n minus 2, bx to the 2. Anything choose 0 is always 1. Anything choose 1 is always that anything. So n choose 1 is 1, 5 choose 1 is 5, and so on. So this will be n. For the n choose 2, let's do that now. So n choose 2 is the same thing as n factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, n minus 3, all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. What we have here, n minus 2 times n minus 3, all the way down to 3, 2, 1, that's the same thing as n minus 2 factorial. This is all divided by the n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial, so basically this. And then these two things, the n minus 2 factorial and what we have over here, they will cancel out. Again, what we have here is effectively n minus 2 factorial. That cancels out with this. So we are left then with n n minus 1 over 2. So that is what we have over here. n, n minus 1 over 2. I'll put these in purple as well. The 1 to the power of n, 1 to the power of n minus 1, 1 to the power of anything is just 1. So we can ignore these three terms here. Now let's do the bx's. bx to the power of 0 is 1. bx to the power of 1 is bx. And to the power of 2 is bx all squared, so b squared, x squared. Let's simplify this. This becomes 1 plus nbx plus n, n minus 1, b squared over 2, x squared. And we are told that the first three terms of our expansion are 1 plus 12x plus 70x squared. 1 plus 12x plus 70x squared. We can equate the coefficients. So we have the nb over here, that's times x. That should be equal to 12. And we have this in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, that should be equal to 70. So then we know nb is 12 and n, n minus 1, b squared over 2 is 70. What we have here, nb is equal to 12, is what we wanted to show for part A. So part A is now done. Show that nb is 12. We've just done that. We've also done a good chunk of the work for part B. Find the values of the constants b and n. So for part B, we can now use this equation that we have here. We can solve that simultaneously with this. And we can then work out what n and b are. So, let's eliminate b from our equation. b is equal to 12 over n, b squared is then 144 over n squared. This equation here then becomes n times n minus 1 over 2 times b squared, which is 144 over n squared, is equal to 70. Let's tidy this up. 144 divided by 2, so this over this, is 72, so it'll be 72 times n minus 1 over n, as we have n here, n squared there, n cancels with the square, we're left with n on the bottom, that's equal to 70 
bring the end to the other side, multiply out the left hand side, and we get 2n is 72, so n is 36. Looking at our earlier equation for b, we see that b is equal to 12 over n. So b is equal to 12 over n, which is 36. That is then a third. So n is 36, b is a third.